All right, again, digging in here with Rick Spielman and Ligier Dusable, guys of Philly, sort of playing to their competition as well. Uh, to be fair, Bears fan here, this is a defense made up of twos or worse, and they gave Jalen Hurts in this offense all sorts of fits. Maybe not A.J. Brown, but you're able to get out of this one with a W for Philly. Is this one where you just take the result, you put it behind you, and you move on? Yeah, good teams often – don't play their best games, but the good teams are the ones that can win these type of games, right? We saw the Dallas Cowboys didn't play their best game and they end up coming back to bite them. They end up losing that game. But the Philadelphia Eagles were able to get over the top and get this victory. You talked about it, Moose. This Chicago Bears defense has been much maligned this season. A lot of twos and threes on that team. A lot of rookies playing. But they played a heck of a ball game today. They forced two interceptions from Jalen Hurts. And then we saw that fumble by Mike Purnell. Great job by the defensive tackle. Filling that screen. The offensive line lets him go. He gets out to the flat and makes Miles Sanders fumbles the ball. So if you're the Eagles, you get, you're a little bit concerned because you didn't have one of your better games. And we saw them also kind of have a letdown versus the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts earlier this year, but they were able to win those games. At the end of the day, that's all that matters, getting that dub in the win column. Yeah, we talked about winning different ways. This Eagles team has won in just about every way this season. And here, you go on the road, cold environment, you walk away with a win. Rick, as you sort of assess what you saw over these 60 minutes, what made this so hard for Philly to get by a Bears team that really is also playing for uh, just selection at this point? Yeah, but they're, the Bears are playing with a lot of fight and mm -hmm. energy, and uh, it was great. And then look what Justin Fields is doing for the Chicago Bears. And the one thing that I do have a concern with a little bit is Philadelphia's run defense, and Chicago put a buck 50 plus on them today, and a lot of that had to do with Justin Fields and the amazing athlete he is when he uh, runs the ball and it, it, what we've seen in that highlight there. But also Justin Fields has really improved some as a passer, I'm trying to look at their depth chart and seeing who in the heck is that guy. I, don't, I can't remember <laughs> scouting him when he came out. I mean, as you're talking uh, about twos and threes, uh -huh. and I'm like, who? So, but they are playing with a lot of motion, and they don't have anything to lose. And most of the time, teams that don't have a lot to lose just go out there and play, and they're having fun, and they don't give, they, they don't give a, uh, what, one mm -hmm. way or another what's going to happen. So, but Philadelphia uh, it is a team – that finds different ways to win every week. I mean, Jalen Hurts threw the two interceptions today, yet he goes and rushes for three touchdowns. Uh, you know, you, we talk about A.J. Brown and the monster game he had. Well, don't forget about Smith and the plus 100 yards he had this game as well. So they have weapons all over the field, and they could either hurt you either running the ball or passing the ball. The biggest thing I am concerned with, and we'll find out, here next week is can they stop the run because uh, I think the Dallas Cowboys have a pretty good run offense. What Philly does have is one heck of a quarterback and Super Bowl aspirations. What Chicago has, picks, money, and a quarterback that can give you some hope as well. Here's a look at the day that was for Jalen Hurts. Obviously, he's going to come to the podium and tell you how he's got to clean things up. Can't have the interceptions, but 300 passing yards, three rushing touchdowns. That'll buy you a little time. Hurts with a win in Chicago. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.